First of all, I'll explain the format a little bit. So what we have here is uh, Magnus Carlsen, arguably the best chess player ever. He is going to play an audience of, of 15 players all at the same time. Um, in some of these exhibitions, uh, there is no clock. And so then Magnus would play one move and kind of circle around, go board by board, until he's done a full round and then start over on the other side. In this particular event, uh, we've added the element of a chess clock which makes it more challenging for the audience, but also more challenging for Magnus. So uh, both players, are, well, Magnus and all of his opponents will have 30 minutes to play the entire game. You'll notice if you're not familiar with chess, when someone makes a move, they will punch this clock, which stops the chronometer on their side and starts the, the clock on the other side. So every person here has 30 minutes to play all of their moves, Magnus also has 30 minutes to play all of his moves, but against all of the 15 people. So this will be interesting. One thing you'll notice pretty quickly is that Magnus is probably going to play very fast. Uh, if you're in the audience, don't let that bother you. You know, it's, not, it's really not an offense to anyone. He's got to move quickly because he only has 30 minutes, and his clock is going to be running whenever you make a move. So uh, a couple of pieces of advice. First of all, when you make a move, don't forget to hit your clock your clock might be your best chance to win. Uh, <laughs> so another, another small bit of advice, uh, and uh, you know, don't tell Magnus that I told you this because he wouldn't be very happy, but it might be to your benefit to make the move when Magnus is not physically right next to your board because he's going to have to walk all the way back. So again, don't tell him I said that, but if you use it, you know, I, won't, I won't say anything. Good luck, everyone. Uh, I'm going to say good luck to Magnus as well. So now to be clear, Magnus has 30 minutes. You have 30 minutes. There is no time added when you make a move. In some cases, you know, in chess tournaments, sometimes time gets added. Not, not here. Um, you'll notice if you look at the boards that... Magnus is making different moves almost on every board. Um, this is to make sure that nobody can copy his neighbor. So don't try to copy your neighbor. It's probably not going to be a good uh, strategy. And uh, At the beginning of a game, it's, it's going to be hard to surprise Magnus. One of the things that chess players learn as they, as they go through years of, of training and practice is to uh, recognize patterns. And so th these, these patterns become almost second nature to, to grandmasters. And, uh, and therefore, it's, it, you know, it's, it's hard to really surprise Magnus at the beginning. And if you do, it might not be a good thing. The, fir the first part of the game is called the opening. Uh, and all of these openings have names that usually stem from chess history, whether it was a, a tournament that was played, uh, a particular player who played them, or, uh, or something else. So in, in most exhibitions, Magnus would go back to the first board, but because this is a clock exhibition, it's going to be a little bit more of a free-for-all, so he's just going to be running around I actually wonder if he, if he was wearing a Fitbit or some kind of tracking device, it'd be interesting to see how many steps he's going to take. This is where I think it's fair to ask for audience support. Just, you know, everybody give up. We're going to have, we have, we have just one game here. Hey, don't get, don't get nervous. So everybody, look at Jed. No, I mean, uh, he is the last man standing. He didn't start as the biggest or the tallest. But his, his position has been difficult.
Usually you have to hold for stalemate. To, so and if you lose, you can blame it on me. Magnus is not giving his opponent any counterplay. <laughs> he turns his pawn, in, pawn into a queen. And you, you finally got him in a deep think, so that's, that's good. <laughs> so. Right. so. I, I was going to ask everyone to give Magnus and, and everyone who played against Magnus a big round of applause, uh, but I think we've already done that. Let's do it again. Uh, Magnus, uh, do you feel like you were in some trouble today? Yeah, there was one very uh, tough, uh, tough game actually right here against uh, Mr. G Jerry Elling Ellinger. Uh, who had a very good position, he just plundered uh, a rook, so I, uh, I will, yeah, I was almost apologetic after the game because I thought... Yes, it, uh, ended, it ended too yeah, fast. Yeah, it ended abruptly and yeah. uh, it could, could have been very uh, interesting.